In this video, we'll be going over how to launch a coin using the Dragon Mode Bundler on Meme Tools. So the first thing you want to do when you get your software is set up your settings section. So let's head down to the settings section here in the bottom left, click that, and you'll be greeted with this page. On this page, you're prompted to enter your RPC URL, WebSocket URL, your Launcher Funder Wallet private key, and your Volume Funder Wallet private key, and then your GDO location. Uh, your RPC URL and WebSocket URL can be found from an external service outside of, outside of Meme Tools that can provide you with these URLs that allow you to interact with the Solana blockchain and then send transactions back and forth. Um, in this video, we're going to be focusing on launching a coin. So the most important uh, Funder Wallet private key is the launcher one. This one can be found in your Phantom and you just have to copy paste it uh, over from your Phantom into your meme tools. It's about 60 to 80 characters long and it's your secret uh, secret pass phrase that's found on Phantom. Uh, and then just again, paste that over here and then click uh, at the bottom of the page and it will save the settings. Below that is your GDO location. Uh, this is the location that's closest to you. So for me, it's Salt Lake City. So I click that and then that will save it for me there. Below that is your custom sell amount, your custom buy amounts, and then your sell out percentages. These are all customizable to your needs and these can be changed at any time in the settings and uh, you will see these in the launcher section when you're launching. So for example, if you're trying to sell a coin, you can change this to 10% and you can sell 10% of your position. Same thing for buys and then sell alls. Once that's all set up, let's head back to the launcher section uh, in the dragon mode section under group one. Next thing you want to do is uh, generate your wallets. So as you can see, I have already generated uh, 20 wallets, but I will show you how to do this quickly in the wallet section. So if we go here to the wallets, uh, we can. I will do it under group two for you guys so you can see how to generate 20 wallets. So again, make sure you're under launcher, mode dragon, and then wallet groups, group one, group two, group three, group four, and group five. Each wallet group can have up to 20 wallets, so you can launch with up to 100 wallets if you want to. Um, so to generate wallets, I'll quickly do it in wallet group two. Uh, you, you can see there's no wallets generated. So what you want to do is go over to the right hand section here and you can generate your wallets here. So click this button right here, generate wallets, uh, input the amount of wallets you want to generate. So if, let's just do 10 quickly for this tutorial and then click generate. And as you can see, those 10 wallets have been generated here. Now it's very important that you always export your wallets when you gen uh, generate them so you don't lose them. Because if you lose these wallets, there's no way for the team to recover them. So it's on you to make sure you export them and save them. Now that these wallets have been generated, let's head back to group one and generate our dev wallet. The dev wallet is the wallet that will be launching the coin. So let's go here and click generate. This has generated the dev wallet. And again, you can export this dev wallet here at any time. Um, you also have the optionality to import wallets uh, from saved files. So you can do that here by clicking import wallets and import dev wallets. You also have the optionality to warm up your wallets at any time. You just click here. You can uh, warm up these wallets by buying different tokens and uh, by doing this, you can create activity on those wallets before you launch to create more uh, human humanized behavior on those wallets. So that's an option you have in the software. Again, you have the option to delete all these wallets, but I wouldn't do that if you haven't saved them. Outside of this, now it's time for us to fund these wallets with Solana. So to do that, you have three different options on the right hand side here. You have distribute Solana uh, number one, you have mixer distribute and you have distribute single wallets. Now, um, because of bubble maps, it's important you distribute correctly so you do not show up on bubble maps when you're launching your token. In this tutorial, I won't be going over that whole process because that would make the video too long. Um, and it's always a changing process. So it's important you use uh, up to stay up to date with these updates from uh, bubble maps. You can always ask in our discord. We have many active community members and team members in there that can help you stay off of bubble maps. So in this video, we're, we're just going to be using a simple distribute function, but uh, we do have a mixer service incorporated into meme tools that will, that will be uh, available to you to mix your funds. So you don't show up on bubble maps when you're launching and, but you can quickly do that by clicking here and then entering this stuff and clicking mix and distribute. You also have the option to distribute to single wallets. By, that's by uh, clicking this button here. You can uh, send a single amount of soul to each wallet. So for example, 0 0.01 soul. I could click to this wallet and then just press send and it would send 0 0.01 soul to this wallet. Um, but I'm not going to be doing that for this tutorial. I'm just going to be doing a distribute soul function uh, to distribute to all of them at once. So to distribute, just click this. Click the amount you want to send to each individual wallet. So for this tutorial, we'll be doing 0 0.01 uh 0.01 sold to each wallet in this wallet group 
So just click distribute and that will distribute those funds to those wallets. As you can see, it's already done. I just click refresh right here and you will see that those funds have been distributed to those wallets. Now uh, for the dev wallet, you always want to fund this from an exchange or a separate wallet that's not connected to your funder wallet. This is again to avoid bubble map detection and to keep your launch clean. So I'm going to be finding this wallet from an, from an exchange quickly, uh, so I'll be right back. Okay, my dev wallet has been funded and we can quickly update that by clicking the balance here. As you can see, 0.1 soul has arrived in that wallet, so we're ready to launch our coin. From here, uh, uh, you can go back into your launcher section right here and just click that and then go under Dragon Mode Group 1. So before launching a coin, let's quickly go over what Dragon Mode is. Dragon Mode allows you to enter your coin with a certain amount of sniper wallets at the start of the coin before your other bundle wallets land. So for example, if we go to the settings here, you can see that there's an option to set a certain amount of sniper buys in your coin. So let's set uh, in two sniper buys on block zero. So basically what will happen is uh, these two wallets at the start will be landing on block zero before any other wallets can land. So this will avoid you uh, from getting front run by other MEV bots or the other sniper bots in the space because your, uh, these two wallets will be landing on block zero. You can use this in your strategy in many different ways. For example, let's say you're launching with 20 soul uh, and you want to get in 15 soul at the start of the launch before you can get sniped or before anybody can front run you. What you can do in this situation is you can always enter uh, the first two wallets in quickly or up to the first three wallets. So uh, in the situation two, so we would put seven and eight. This means that these 15 soul would be incorporated into those uh, inc incorporated into that launch quickly on block zero, meaning that this 15 soul can't get front run. After that, the other wallets will uh, then land after that in block one, two, three, and so on. And these can always get front run. So you can always set up your strategy like this. Uh, and again, if you have a fast RPC, um, these other wallets will land very quickly, probably on block one or two. So um, that won't be an issue. So this is how you can incorporate Dragon Mode into your strategy. So um, that was just a quick breakdown and let's get back to how to launch the coin. Okay, so now let's go back to launching the coin. So the first thing you wanna do is generate your contract address for your coin before you launch. To do that, go to the upper section here and click token address and just click this button once. And this will uh, generate the contract address for your coin before uh, launching. You can use this if you'd like in the volume modes and set that up beforehand uh, so you're ready to go. After that, you wanna set up your token metadata. This is your token information for your coin, and you want to input your name, your ticker, your description, your Twitter, Telegram, website, and then your image. I'll quickly do this and be right back. Okay, now that that all is set up, uh, you can just press save right here and it'll save your uh, a token. Uh, again, if you want to clone a token that's already existing in the market, you have the option to do that by clicking this button right here. But uh, we'll be going into that in a future video. So after this is all set up, just press save and you, uh, your token metadata will be saved. So let's click save, and that will save the token metadata. As you can see right here, the token metadata has been saved for your coin, and you're ready to launch your token. From here, let's set up your buy settings. So uh, again, uh, how I explained how Dragon Mode works earlier, you can always set up your custom buy amounts based on your sniper wallets, uh, but for this tutorial, we'll keep it simple. So for the dev buy, let's uh, 0.01. Uh, for your dev tip, you can always increase this if your launch is failing, as sometimes the network is busy, so always increasing your tip uh, helps. Uh, you can choose how many sniper uh, buys you want for your coin on block zero. We're gonna keep it to two. You can choose a custom buy amount or a min and max buy amount. Uh, for this launch, we'll be doing a min and max. Uh, let's choose a range between which our wallets will buy, so 0.01 and 0.004. Um, again, your tip amount, make sure this is high enough for that uh, for the coin to land on the blockchain. Uh, your slippage, uh, keep it between 10 and 20 usually, that, that is ideal. And then you have the exchange options here. For the exchange options, you have the option to choose between uh, all of these exchanges to mask your wallets. So for example, you want to launch a coin that, wants, that looks like the wallets have been generated on Photon and have launched through Photon, you can do that by clicking here uh, and masking your tokens via Photon. And this will mask all, the, all of those 20 wallets via Photon. Below that is your single buy settings, and this is for after you launch your token, you can buy with individual wallets uh, by clicking uh, these different amounts that you have right here. And uh, again, have your tip high enough so, to where these land and your slippage at a decent amount. You have the option to choose between RBC and Jito, 
uh, Jito, uh, when it's busy, you can always switch back to RPC. And if you want to use Jito, you can always do that. So that's an option right here. And then again, you can mask your tokens here. Once you have all of this set up, just uh, click save and that will save your token settings. The next thing you want to do is quickly set up your cell settings. So to set up your cell settings, just enter your tip amount, your slippage, choose between RPC and Jito and your exchange options. Uh, pretty much the same as the buy settings. And then you have sell all settings. So this is to sell all your wallets. Uh, again, I would increase the tip on these because you're trying to get out of that position quickly. And then emergency sell all will sell all your tokens for all your volume, all your launcher and all your uh, bundler wallets at once. Uh, this is this will be a button you will see on the sell section here at the bottom. Uh, I will show you uh, in a little bit so we can always increase the tip there. And then you will always want to include your dev wallet in your sell functions. If you want to do that, you can take this box on or off. Uh, and then from there, just press save and you're ready to launch your coin. Okay, once you've made sure everything is correct and you're ready to launch your coin, all you have to do is click launch right here and this will start your launch process. So let's quickly do that. Okay, as you can see, my token has now launched and it's live uh, on Pump Fun. So you can see your token ticker here, your image here, your market cap of your token here, and then your bonding curve percentage here, along with the total PL. You can also see this PL in the PL section here by clicking this button here and then clicking refresh, and this will update uh, your live PL for your token. Uh, again, this is a test launch, so obviously I'm not trying to moon this token, so you won't see a, an actual green PL here. But with the correct strategy, you can always get a green PL. Um, so here, let's quickly go through um, how to uh, sell a coin and how to uh, single sell, sell all, and then emergency sell all, and then also buy in with uh, the wallets. So um, the first thing you can do to sell is you can do individual wallet buys. So for example, you can see your uh, balance is here. So let's say I want to buy in with this wallet for 0 0.01. I can click that and this will send a transaction of 0 0.01 and this will uh, buy into that coin for me for 0 0.01. Uh, you can also uh, do sells by clicking the sell button here. This will take you to the sell page. You can see the emergency sell all, the sell all or the transfer sell all. So basically what the transfer sell all does is it'll transfer all the tokens from all of these wallets into the first wallet and then do a sell all. So instead of uh, sending 20 uh, transactions onto the chart, uh, of cells, you only sell one transaction of a larger cell. So you can do that by clicking this button here and then uh, also custom amount right here. Um, this sell all will sell all 20 wallets as a, uh, 20 transactions. So each transaction will land separately for each sell all. Uh, the emergency sell all will sell all the wallets for launcher, pump fund, pump swap and radium. So that's for uh, if you if you're running volume and the launcher at the same time. Um, so let's try a single wallet sell. So let's say I want to sell wallet number eight, a hundred percent of it. Again, you can customize these values in the settings section. So let's click hundred and this will sell hundred percent of this position. So give it a second and then click refresh. And as you can see, wallet number eight has no more token holdings. Now to fully exit the position, uh, you can also do a uh, transfer sell all. So let's quickly do this one. So click this. It'll transfer all the tokens to the top wallet and then do a sell all uh, right here. So you'll see the highest, highest balance here once I ref refresh. So as you can see, all these tokens have been sold and it's transfer sold all into my dev wallet right here, uh, increasing the balance of that wallet. Um, I'm going to quickly buy in with uh, a few wallets here just to show you guys the sell all uh, individual as well. So let's refresh the balance. So let's quickly buy in with this wallet. Uh, let me change this in settings. So. These are smaller amounts, so we can do that. And now if we go back to the pump, pump one section, you can see these have been updated to uh, your desired need. So again, um, let's quickly buy in with a couple wallets. So let's buy that one. Let's buy this one. As you can see, I bought in with four different wallets now. And if we update the balances, you can see those token holdings have been updated with the correct amount of tokens. And now let's say I want to do a sell all. All I would have to do is click this button right here and it would sell all of the tokens and all of these wallets as separate transactions. So as you can see, sell all. Um, this will send a transaction uh, bundle to Jito and this will sell all of those transactions. So 
as you can see, each wallet has been sold. Now, if we quickly go over to Photon to see how the transactions landed, if we go to the latest or in the oldest transactions, you can see here that we did set up the first two wallets to be sniper wallets. And as you can see, those first two wallets did land as snipers. Before that, the only wallet that landed was a dev wallet. And then after that was all your bundle wallets. Um, so again, because we chose two sniper wallets in the dragon mode uh, functionality, that's why we have two snipers here. Uh, the max is three, so you can choose up to uh, three. And you can always set the, this to zero if we don't want any sniper tags to show up on Photon. At the top, you also have the option to do auto buys and auto sells. So if you want to set up, for example, a strategy to a certain bonding curve, you can set up auto buys starting uh, at whatever current market cap you're at, up to, let's say, 80% bonding curve. You can fully customize this. Uh, let's say you want to buy in 0 0.01 soul uh, every uh, few seconds. You can set this up here and this will keep buying that until you hit 80% bonding curve. So you have the uh, optionality to do auto buys here uh, using this method. Uh, again, you can cho choose the wallet you want to buy from. You can choose it, uh, RPC or Jito and you can choose the exchange. Uh, and then you can always monitor that token uh, up so that it tracks the bonding curve percentage. Um, in the cells, uh, you can also do the auto sell section. So let's say you hit 80% bonding curve. Uh, you want to sell all at 80% bonding curve, you have the option to do that. You can also do transfer sell all at 80% bonding curve or sell all percent at 80% bonding curve. You can choose that percentage here. Let's say I want to sell at 50% bonding curve instead of 80, I can change that here. And now it will do a sell all at 50% bonding curve instead of 80, like it was before. So it's fully customizable. And to do this, just start monitoring that token and it'll monitor the bonding curve percentage and do that specific function for you when you get there. And uh, again, if you want to do a emergency sell all, all you would do is just click uh, emergency sell all here and it would sell all the tokens in all, all modes. To copy your contract address, you can do that by clicking the token image here. It'll copy the contract address and then you can add it by going into the pump fund section here or the pump, fund, pump swap section here. Click add token at the top, uh, enter your CA and paste it in and click add. And that will add in your token uh, as a brand new token here. Uh, showing the, uh, the the token name, the market cap, the bonding curve, and then also the different volume modes you can use on it. So click buys, bump it, human mode, and bundle buys. Uh, all with up to 100 wallets that you can use with five wallet groups. Um, and then the uh, this will be shown in a future video on how to use the volume modes. So keep an eye out for that. So that's a basic breakdown of the Dragon Mode Bundler. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out in the Discord or under in the comments.